Oh, Corvo Bianco's right here. Oh. That's really... much closer than I thought it would be. Might be good for me to visit, too. Let's go here, and then maybe we'll go back to Corvo Bianco first before hunting down the other spots in Vermentino. Let's go, Roach. So evidence does point to it being the other guy who's sabotaging this vineyard, and... We haven't seen his vineyard yet, but there might be similar evidence hey, uh, that the woman has been sabotaging him as well. Is it really ever that simple, though? Ooh! Vineyard infestation! Holy God! Giant centipede! Ooh! Whoa! I didn't know you could do that! I don't think we've ever fought one before, right? We fought the pale ones in the cave, but this is not a pale one. Oh! Oh, we can't get it when it does that. Can we maybe try to irritate it? At least the golden oriole is really helping here. Giant centipede spawning ground should destroy it. I tell you, something is wrong with the soil in Tucson. It's awful. Maybe it's because people keep trying to poison other people's vineyards. We, uh, I, thank you. Oh, uh. <laughs> you're welcome. Vineyards getting poisoned, the poison leaks into the soil, and that's how you get these things happening. Could be possible. Oh, there was a little house behind me. Did I not see it? Was it just... Oh, that's not really a house. <laughs> just a little location here. Wait. That was my green location, so my next spot is actually just to go back to Corvo Bianco, very quickly. I did have a look at the the tree thingy, the alchemy tree thingy off screen. So once we get back, I think that's how we can use the transmutator. Maybe we can take a deeper look into what we can do here. Hey everybody, I'm back! Is Marlena doing okay? Sorry, Roach. <laughs> oh. The history of Corvo Bianco. Corvo Bianco's origins have been lost in the mists of time. We have only a bare legend about the vineyard being founded by the owner of the Pomerol Estate's son, who had been disinherited and exiled with only a carnivier sapling to his name. The modern history of Corvo Bianco begins with Master Bolius, who settled in the vineyard in his elder years. As a young man, Bolius had headed a division of sappers which fought in the far north. For his service, he was made a noble and awarded a great deal of coin. He took to rebuilding Corvo Bianco with great zeal. He dedicated the most energy to planting a beautiful garden for his wife, thus starting the craze for the use of herbs which swept Tucson at the time. After his wife, Bolius's second love was the olive tree, which is why he planted a great many of them all over Corvo Bianco. When Bolius' wife died, life lost its savor for him, and he began to think constantly about death. He sold his estate to Count Crespi, and the very day he signed the last piece of paperwork, he died. Oh, so both the Belgard vineyard and this vineyard were previously owned by Crespi. But the Duchess didn't give me that vineyard too. Hey, Marlena. I do not know how I will ever repay you, Witcher. Don't expect to be paid. Hope you're feeling better, that's all. Oh, yes, I feel my strength returning thanks chiefly to Barnabas Basil's care. Horrible ordeal you endured. Glad I cut it short. Yes. Years of suffering. Do you know what was worse than the hunker? Watching my loved ones, my children grow old and die. 
All my family's long gone now. The last of my kin perished decades past. I fear I've nowhere to go. You're very welcome to stay here if you'd like. Although... You can choose. But you can stay here. This is a big house. Big estate. You can stay here. Truly? I could never infringe so on your hospitality. Yet... Yeah. After all I've suffered, the years of starvation, I've but one dream. At last to prepare food that fortifies, nourishes, to delight in the tastes and smells of spices, to sit at one table with others and eat. Hmm. Don't see a problem if that's your dream. You could help Barnabas Basil in the kitchen. Eating his meals, you know he's not a culinary virtuoso. Nothing could make me happier. Thank you. No, thank you. House could use a woman's touch. I've one other thing I'd like to tell you. Many years ago, my father assembled valuables for my diary. I never wet, so they remained unclaimed. These baubles are no use to me now. But to you, well... Perhaps let them be a token of my gratitude. If you wish to find them, you must go to my old home, to Trastamara. The dowry lies hidden in a barrel in the cellar. There are several barrels. You must give each a knock until you find the right one. Do just that. Thanks. Perfect. An opportunity to go back. Me and this lady here actually have a strange commonality. We're both gonna witness our loved ones die before us because we don't have the same kind of lifespan. Goes back to that same problem that we had with befriending people like Shani. Regular humans. They are bound to die much earlier than us. You sure you don't feel lonely out here? I cannot say yet. Too little time has passed since you freed me of my thrall. But somehow, for now at least, I do not feel drawn to the city, to others. Visited others' homes as a white. Yes, but ever at night, when all were asleep, I went in search of spoons. Remember, you can always change your mind. Decide you've lived here long enough, just say the word. Yeah. I'd never wish to seem ungrateful. And I'd never want you to stay against your will. Yeah, yeah, do tell. It is hard because, as a white, every single time somebody saw you, they were probably frightened beyond belief. So, me and Barnabas Basil were probably the first people in a very, very long time who's looked at her and not thought, oh my god, a monster. I'd never expect someone with your past to feel drawn to the kitchen. Do you fear I will cook in your home as I brute as a white? <laughs> Counting on you having slightly better taste as a human. Of that, you can be sure. I loved cooking, even as a child. My gran was a true master in the kitchen. Her spit-roasted oaks was famed throughout the land. Thought you were a lady, owned an estate. Do you mean to say a woman of my rank should have had a cook? You're right, of course. And I had the best of cooks. But I devised the dishes myself. They only prepared them. Cooking as a hobby. See you later. Take care, Witcher. And remember, you always have warm food awaiting your return. Thank you. That's actually really nice. But nobody ever eats the food. I feel kind of bad. Hey, BB. Renovations coming along all right. I am delighted to inform you we have completed our labors. You can now devote yourself to enjoying the vineyard's delights to the fullest. Wonderful. You must forgive me my temerity, sir, but I thought with all the work on Corfo Bianco completed and with the estate looking more beautiful than ever, it might be appropriate to commemorate the moment. Sure, why not? During the tidying that preceded the renovations, I came across a bottle of Sapramento. The 1250 Vintage. I cannot say by what miracle it survived, but it is here. 
and we've course to open it today. And then he ran straight into the crowd, burning bouquet in hand. All thought it a part of the performance, so they only laughed, even when the decor began to catch fire. It was not until the flames engulfed Baron Mahefkin's beard that folk began to realize something was amiss and went to put out the fires. <laughs> Sounds like Monsieur Bolius and Madame Nina threw some first-rate balls here. It was so. In this regard, Baron Rossel was decidedly more reserved. So tell me, Barnabas Basil, what's the wine situation like here? Am I going to produce any this year? This year is out, I fear, sir. Last autumn, a fungus destroyed all the vines. Baron Rossel had new ones planted, but it will be some time before they start bearing fruit. Assuming that is, the fungus does not reappear. Mm, that'd be bad. This sepramento got me dreaming. It's amazing. Isn't it, though? Allow me to top you off, sir. There. Thanks. How nice. But I did want to have Marlena with us, too. That would have been even better. Oh. Earlier, when we were talking to Bibi inside the house, right before we got transitioned outside, I thought it was really strange because they had a bit of animation where Bibi was scratching his face. And that's such a, like a, like a human thing that it kind of weirds me out. Because usually, the kind of animation we get is people waving around their hands and stuff when they're talking to us. But a person scratching their face. Don't believe I've seen that before. Oh, I can't put the shield here! I was pretty sure I got a shield. But it's not something we can put on the wall. This one. Ornate shield. Oh, I'm disappointed. But not much we can do about that, I guess. Oh, hey, we have another armor stand here. And the weapon rack, which we can't put any non-sword weapons on. Sadly. Okay, well, at the very minimum, I can put my... Griffin trophy here. And the horse saddle. And I guess that's that for now. I'm not really one for decorating too much. Fist fighting? No, leave it here. Did we get any other trophies? Not just yet. Do we want to sleep? Get some bonuses? Make it nice and daytime again. Maximum vitality increased by 1,000. That's actually quite a bit. We have to go see the stables. We must have a very nice place for Roach now. Is Marlena in the kitchen, by the way? I thank you for letting me stay. I cannot remember when last I was this happy. Yeah, no worries. Take care. See you later. Take care, Witcher. And remember... You always have warm food awaiting your return. Yeah, awesome, awesome. Pass on some of your recipes to everybody else here. Not to say I want you to be a servant or anything, but if you could cook for everybody here, that would be even better. Oh, we gotta go visit the actual statue sometime too. Back in Tucson. We're back in the lab here. Right. Okay, so before we look at this... I looked at the alchemy thing, and I think I had a bit of a misunderstanding, because I was always under the impression that this was a tree. But no matter how many items we research, we can never only really pick one thing here, so... It's probably best for us to research all that we can to increase this thingy, but... At any one time, we can only choose one. Okay, so why don't we go try to research stuff that we can. Magic sensibilities we have. Piercing cold, we can do. Right, because even if we don't use it, this little bar here goes up and 
It unlocks more ability slots, depending on how much we have unlocked. Now we're at level 2. Does that mean that we have two slots? Yes, it does. Mmm... I was looking at this, and I think our primary bottleneck is not actually the ability points, or uh, it's not actually the mutagens, because we have 20,000 million of the blue and green ones, but the ability points. Right now, we only have eight, especially because I just did some research here, and... Yeah, we have a yellow one here. Conductors of magic. When drawn, magic, unique, and witcher swords increase sign damage dealt by 50%, of their own damage dealt. Mmm, just sounds like a damage increase thing. Deadly counter, as we saw, I've only used like that one time. I don't think it's gonna be that useful. This is also more like a damage increasing thing. Primarily, if there's something flashy here, then that's something I would really like to try to get. So, piercing cold. When the art sign is cast, it additionally has a 25% of freezing opponents. Opponents knocked down and frozen simultaneously die immediately. Opponents who are not frozen are dealt an additional 2736 damage. Let's try this one out. Because if I do this, then that actually enables some blue slots for me. Not that it's a huge issue because I can always shift things over from the other slots. But since we have blue slots here... We already use all three of these right here. We have eight points here. Can I get Art Sweep? This is really something I'd like to have again. Three points. We still haven't unlocked the next tier here yet. What else can I get? Puppet. This is the alternative sign mode for Axie. Active shield. What about explosive shield? Yeah, this is one that I had before, but then I took it away. Sustain Glyphs. Magic Trap. I don't know, maybe I should be looking a little bit further ahead in the whole tree here. We only have five points though. Fire Stream. This one I don't think I'll be using too much. Far Reaching Art. Well, I suppose this one could be good in conjunction with Art Sweep. Yeah? If we want to unlock the next level, then we have to put more points here anyway. And we'll just do this for now. Okay. Anyway, for these ones, I don't have enough points for a lot of them. Especially now that I use some of the points. Are we gonna be able to get everything, though? I don't know. I need three points at the minimum. But, uh, let me see if I can make some mutagens here. Mm hmm I have a hundred Wraith mutagens. I don't even know how I have this much, but... Freaking dismantle 50 of them or something. Yeah. I think that should be enough for all our needs. Because what we can do here is... We can make a whole bunch of greater green mutagens, greater blue mutagens. Look, we have 130 blue mutagens. We're not pressed for materials at all. Just that right now, how do we do the transmutating thing again? Red mutagen. Right, we can get a blue mutagen and do this, but we also need other materials. Winter cherry, rubido. I guess I'll pin this, and maybe that's how we'll get some red mutagens in the future. Anyway though, like I said, our bottleneck right now is the ability point, so not much else we can do for the time being. Bombs and potions, gain an additional charge. I do look forward to trying out Piercing Cold here, though. So the requirement for it is really just that we cast the art sign, and people who get knocked down will die immediately. Does it also include Art Sweep? I really hope so. Okay. 
Didn't we build a herb field somewhere? Can I go look at that? I've this burning, stopping sensation <gasps> in my ribs. When I look on the map, there's so many icons inside here. Oh, it's all inside that one room. My goodness. Oh, there's another armor stand. I don't feel like decorating right now, though, so I'm gonna um, leave it alone and I guess we'll head off. Okay. The stables. I've scissored my fingers near to shreds. Roach? Is Roach here? Actually, where is Roach? Isn't she normally standing around here somewhere? Without me calling her? I've scissored my fingers near to shreds. Roach, come over. Check out your new stable. Days pass. The pile of work oh. remains. <laughs> here. No, no, no. Come over here. Look, do you oh, like it? And what do you get for all that work? <laughs> uh, actually, it looks pretty crummy. Uh. I was expecting something a little bit better looking, but hey. I guess that's the best we're gonna get. Uh, it could be worse, I suppose. Well, well. I think it's time to get going again. The next spot we should be going to is... Should we go back to Tucson for a little bit? Maybe. Oh, you know what? Before anything else, I think there's a few things I want to clean up first. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Remember that one quest that we found, or I found, <laughs> at the when I was clearing out the question marks in Skellige? We found a quest right around this area where there was someone being punished. And I wasn't ever really sure if they were being punished justly or not. Supposedly, if we go to Rogne, then we can find out the continuation to this. Ah, shame about Greta. He was a good man. Aye, and he didn't drink much. As for that horse on York, chaining him to the rocks, that was too late a punishment. Should have lashed his skin off. Don't say that! My brother was good! Quiet, dear, you don't know what you're saying. Your brother was a vile man, a criminal. The quicker you forget him, the better. Right, so the issue was that they were sentencing him to some punishment because they thought he killed another man. But he's saying he didn't do it. Oh, Jorg's sister. What happened here? My brother... They chained him to the rocks... Because of me? Why because of you? Cause... Cause... I didn't like my uncle Greta. He was fat and stank. Once, I told my brother that uncle did bad things to me. Oh. York flew in a rage and killed him. Then they caught him and tied him to the rocks. That's how your laws work. A murderer has to be punished, even if he killed to save someone else. But, but, I lied to York. Uncle did nothing to me. Oh. He stank and I didn't like him. That's it. And now... Now your uncle died because of me. Your uncle died because of you. Oh. Well, I should at least tell her that her brother is alive, but the uncle really died for no reason. Dang. Your brother will be fine. I freed him. He's bound to come and find you soon. Truly? Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'll never tell another lie, I swear it! How's that gonna work out? How old are you? <laughs> because if he comes back, he can't come back to the village here without being vilified. So you guys will probably have to move out somewhere. Mm, don't tell lies, Maybe little kids. Can't wait to me kitty cried. 
I think that's really the last thing we have to do here. But if we go back to the villain area... Remember that one village where we had the wedding in Hearts of Stone? It seems like there might have been a Gwent card that I missed on the second floor in the barn house. Now, if only I could remember where that wedding was. Was it here? Runwich, I think? Wow, I've never had loading times this long before. <laughs> Because we're traveling all over the place. From Tucson to... Velen. Now back here. Oh my gosh, I can't believe how bad it looks here now. Is this really the same village? Remember back when we first came here? This was such a nice place. Welcome. And we were like, whoa, this is the most pretty place I've ever seen. But now that we've seen Tucson, this completely pales in comparison. Not to mention, it's completely soaked right now, too. And nobody's celebrating. Goats running loose. Not much celebration. Okay, was it here? Oh... Uh... I'll take that anyway. I can't believe how dark it is now. It's just a lot of... Oh. Cow. 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 Moo. <laughs> Summon Avenger. When this card is removed from the battlefield, it summons a powerful new unit card to take its place. <laughs> what? Unique ability, too. <laughs> I guess it's a good thing I came back for it. <laughs> is that card even legal? Are people gonna accuse me of cheating if I try to use it? My god. <laughs> guess I'll know if I try it out later on. Oh, I'm not sure why that pillow was glowing, but I can't click on it. Oh well. But okay, not too much else here for me, huh? Except for the alcohol here. I'll take all of that, thank you. Alrighty. Jonas, Aldana, still living here? Mm -hmm. ah. Sorry for all the rude things I said to you guys before. That wasn't me, but you wouldn't believe me if I said that, would you? Back to Tucson here. Let's make a trip back to Tucson, Beauclair, before we go back to the vineyard stuff. There's a lot of things we gotta do here, my goodness. My painting... Gwent... 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 <laughs> Paper chase? Yeah, I want my freaking money from the bank. Lepiotos wheezing lungs. Don't crowd around. Need to come back during the day. What?! Oh, that's right! 8 in the morning, 10 in the evening. It's 4 in the morning right now. Do I ever feel like doing absolute Oh, hey! Writing? What is it? Got your coin, sir. And a wee gift to thank you for the trust you showed. This blade's the Reckoner. It saved my arse a fair number of times. Guess I didn't need to go into the bank after all. Thanks, Chan Finelli. We'll call it even. One last thing. I'd like to apologize. For the whole minging kerfuffle. Apology accepted. Master Witcher, what can I do for you? Well, I don't think I'll be putting my money in here anymore oh, since I'm not sure how trustworthy you guys are. Let's go pick up the painting too. Oh, and we should check out the sword that we just got then, huh? 
The Reckoner. It's not a relic sword, but I'll keep it. It's actually better than what I have right now because these swords are level 39. I'm starting to feel like we're a little bit weak, but I guess there's not much we can do about that either. Until we get the new armor. Master Painter, I've come back. Hello. <laughs> what? <gasps> Why am I naked? Greetings. Geralt, there you are. So, our painting. Are you pleased? Is it to your liking? Do tell. <laughs> Why? Why am I naked? You really should be paying me more for this. Not exactly what I imagined. I believe I posed with all my clothes on. Clearly remember that, in fact. Some other details are off, too. Invalid as a criticism. I depicted you in a more flattering state. The painting has drawn crowds, aroused a great deal of interest. Aroused may be right. That. Anyway, some advice for the future. Warn your subjects about your intentions. Your next model might not be so forgiving. You don't like it. I'm hurt. I'm hurt too. You drew me naked. Perhaps you'd care to buy the painting. Given our rapport, I shall take a loss. For you, I'll part with it, I will, at a special price. One thousand dollars? I guess I'll buy it just to have something to hang on the wall, but I don't really know if I want Marlena to see that. Or BB. <laughs> Why not? It'll make an interesting memento. Though I'd hardly call the price a bargain. <laughs> Indeed. Few have the sophistication to appreciate my technique. I wonder why. I sometimes go hungry as a consequence. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. At least this way I'll be able to control who sees it. Thanks. That's true. Normally, people would at least have to pay me to see that, alright? You can't just show my naked body here. <laughs> I would hate to come off Should we go do some Gwent then? Since there's so many people here looking for Gwent. Night for hire. We can go back at the end of the 15 contracts or go back now. Maybe that's what it means? What time is it right now? Is it still night time? I was wondering if we can go to the art gallery place so that we can see the statue. I did promise that guy that I would come back during the day. But the problem is, I'm not sure how to get back to that location. The guard brings peace to our domains. Could a woman? If I keep walking around, will I find it eventually? I don't quite remember where it was. Hmm. Well, maybe we'll come across it sometime, if we just wander around here. But for now, I can sell some stuff and repair my armor. Greetings. I hope your search goes well. What do you have on offer? Okay. I'm gonna sell you all my stuff. You have quite a bit of money, too. Are you an armorer or blacksmith? Doesn't matter. So many Beauclair steel swords. Ancient Elven Sword, I can sell this one. The Grand Master Armor! What level is it? Can we wear it already, if we find it? Mm, there you go. Look at how much money he's still got! This guy's stinking rich. Repair my stuff? Lots of big repairs needed today. Mm. While we're here, could you please dismantle some stuff for me? That would be good. This jewelry, it's always better for us to dismantle it, right? I think so. 
So I'm just gonna do a mass dismantle here. Mm-hmm. Prop the casket. Gold ore. Eh, okay. Gold plate? That should be enough. Do I have any more shells and stuff? Maybe not. Not that I can see. Okay. Alright, thank you. Thank you so much. Crafting. We did pick up some manticore stuff already. Was it the sword or... Um... If I look at the levels here... Tucson Knight's Armor, 47. Knight's Tourney Armor, 48. What did I pick up? Manticore... Manticore Trousers, level 40. So I can wear this already. Should I make it right now or wait for the full set? Mm, let's wait. Let's wait. Because it's kind of weird for me to walk around with half a set anyway, right? Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. Farewell. Good luck on the path. Everyone tells me that. Makes me feel good. Thank you. Well, I'm not sure where the art gallery is, but there is some Gwent people around here. Oh? What? Some of it just moved away. Uh... Never fear Skellig is here? Here we go. One person right across. What is the pheasantry stewing up? Only a witcher stands to best the beast. Regis has been waiting for me forever. Herb store. Hello. Welcome. Herbs freshly picked, dried, powdered. Whatsoever your heart desires. Let me see what you got. Do you have any of the stuff I was looking for? Honeysuckle. Wait. Was that pinned? Yes, for the red mutagen. Okay, let's buy it. All nine? Thank you. You wanna play some Gwent with me, lady? Herb schmerbs. But how about some Gwent, eh? <laughs> Everyone always nods. Shortcuts. Be careful you do not trample any herbs. Do I wanna put the cow here? It's zero, but when it dies, we can summon a powerful new unit card. What does that mean? Can I choose or does it choose for me? I'm not sure. I guess we'll find out. Oh, this person also uses the Skellige deck. Scorch, Commander's Horn, Gondro Dim. Gondro Dim, Berserker, Olgir, Triss, Dragon, Hjalmar, Siri. This is not a very Skellige deck at all. <laughs> but I'll live. Hjalmar's good. Dragon, Triss. Berserker. We don't have Ermion. Hmm. Maybe I'll try to risk it by taking away Scorch. Should I? We have a lot of hero cards here. Uh, maybe I'll try it out. Decoy. Not a bad trade. Maybe a parallel trade. I'm not sure. So let's go for Gondro Dim to begin with. I don't think we'll be able to pull off that miracle again. Last time. We don't have any spy cards because there's no spies in this deck, maybe? Okay. Now what? <laughs> do I just lose or do I want to keep going? I got so many hero cards. Not many effects. I kind of want to keep the Berserker just to see what happens later on. Mm, I guess I'll do this. 21 to 15. Dragon's not doing anything. 22. 
Should I decoy all geared back? This leader card here. Um, it doesn't really matter though if I don't have any like if I can't pick up new cards then I can't get back the cards in my deck anyway my Skellige ability for the third round is to get something back from the graveyard to bring it back but she also has the same ability here mm, maybe I'll try doing this I'm hoping the ability will bring this back later on, but I don't really know. 28, 27. I think maybe I'll pass, but bringing the dragon back first. Or... Actually, I should probably use Commander's Horn this round because I don't have very many non-hero cards here. Only this guy left, actually. Am I gonna go all in this time? I guess so. Forty-nine to twenty-seven. Cirrus! I want this card! What? Whoa! Oh, wow! Whoa! No, I want to see this. Summons all shield maidens from deck in hand. Dang. They call me Sparrowhawk. Know why? Because I eat rats like you for breakfast. Well, she's beating me by a lot. But I don't think it was a bad choice to use the Commander's Horn just then, because I wouldn't have been able to use it anyway. Let's decoy... Uh, the dragon back. Yeah. Oh, actually, if I do that, I can destroy these cards right now, can't I? Okay, so she's passed. If I destroy the Shield Maidens... 12 times 3 is 36, so minus 73, she would be at 37. I would be able to win. Okay, that works. Cool. I don't have very many cards though, that's the problem. I gotta either win the next round or... Can we even hold out till the third round? Should I try shuffling right now? Um, If I shuffle right now... It'll actually be able to limit my graveyard to what I want to bring back for the third round, right? But there's really not too much because the only thing that can come back here is probably this card. <laughs> uh, I mean, we can try it anyway, but it's not gonna... Would it be a good idea? I can stop her from bringing back stuff from her deck. Hmm. I don't know what card she has. That's the problem. What's your ability? Same ability. Okay. I don't really know how to use this. I guess I'll try it out here. Dandelion. If nothing else, using the ability is a great way to waste a turn. I wish I had Ermion. in. I pretty much just gotta put everything down here. I don't have any combos, just hero cards. And I'm hoping you don't have too much either. You have old gear too. Hyalmar. Young Berserker. Oh, we might be okay today. Geralt's Arivia. Burna Bran. Oh, that's all she's got. Whoa, we win! What's this one, though? It's a medic. Ah! But because I used my ability, she couldn't get anything back from the graveyard. Oh, so that's one way to use it, too. Stop people from bringing things back from the graveyard. But that also applies to me, so I gotta be a little bit careful about that ability. Yay, we won! 
Awesome! Two wins in a row with a new deck! That's a great sign that we're doing good here. Thank you! Thank you for the card. Oh, what did she give me just now? I didn't see it. Oh well, I'm sure we'll find out soon enough. It's not cats and dogs, but cubs. Okay. Was there anything else we needed to do in Tucson? We could go collect our pay right now, but um, hmm. This is back to Regis. Big game hunter. Oh, the picnic! Wanna go to the picnic? Heck yeah, let's go. Gotta go to the North Guardian Embassy. Everyone's expecting me to get the Beast of Beauclair. But I've just been wandering around everywhere, doing this and that. Everything. Aside from actually getting the Beast. <laughs> In comparison to Hearts of Stone, it feels like Tucson is really, really big. Hearts of Stone seemed a little bit more contained. Mm -hmm. We are going to have a picnic at 8 in the morning. Is that all right? Ah, Master Witcher. Welcome. Count Beledal is expecting you. He awaits in the courtyard with the other guests. Okay, cool. Thank you. How is it that you can wow. feed him as well? We have a lot of people here, don't we? Festivities. Hey, what's new in the north? Ah! Sorry. Oh, look at all this free food. Thank you, Count. The blacksmith's wife. She's always showing us have proved alcohol is bad for our health. With loans from and Jim we are to drink naught but water. Where did you hear this? <laughs> they got so angry upon hearing that they can't drink alcohol. The wilds of Tucson harbor innumerable fascinations. Keep your eyes. Its picturesque meadows and untouched woodlands are home to one of the most dangerous species of Myriopoda, this side of the Yaruga. The Beauclair centipede, as it's commonly called, is seen here, proudly displaying its remarkable chitin oh, and calcium carbonate carapace. With that one. We would stump till we were red and sweaty. <laughs> is that how people in Tucson flirt? Here's Count Belladal. And the lady talking about some paintings about giant centipedes here? Mm. I'm sorry. Sorry. Let me just look around and see what I can loot first. Letter from the wife of Count Belladal. My dearest, everything here is good. For several days now, the sun has been shining and it is quite hot. So the window in Clarissa's room is open almost all day. If you could see her little face when rays of sunlight hit it. Pure joy. She looks just like she was before the accident. If it gets a bit warmer, I will have her chair taken into the garden. The day before yesterday, Master Buivard's wife, Elisa, visited us. You remember her, don't you? When the Buivards moved to Covir, all the society ladies were scared of inviting her to dine, as she seemed to be either mad or some sort of self-taught witch. This was all because, despite not having the right education, she made magic ointments and cosmetics. It is said she spent three years in the Dragon Mountains learning from some elven sorceress. You know I don't pay much heed to gossip, which is why when the butler announced her, I immediately invited her in for a glass of lemonade. It turns out that she is an exceedingly charming person, and stories of her alleged witchcraft are highly exaggerated. She actually studied for three years at Aretuza, but because of some bad investments made by her father, she had to leave the academy. She left, however, with good knowledge of plants and their magical applications. She brought with her a healing ointment, which I have to rub into Clarissa's legs each morning and evening for 10 days. When the treatment is complete, Elisa promises to visit us again to see the results and advise us further. 
I have a good feeling about this woman. In my next letter, I'll tell you about what happened with the treatment she recommended. Take care of yourself, my dearest. I beg that you don't overreact and do something silly. If something happened to you, I wouldn't know what to do. I love you, Arabella. So the Count's wife and kid are in Kovir right now. Everything here is good, here is Kovir. He's away on business because he's a wine merchant, was it? Oh, looting directly off the tables of the people here. Thank you, thank you. You're all too kind. Wow. Oh, you shouldn't have. Everybody, that's a lot of good wine. I just realized this is the town square because that's uh, the notice board is right there. Fish! Better start the losing some weight, huh? All on account of him being refused her hand. Some courtiers got drunk and went to the Caraberta woods to hunt, never to return. Or so they say. That's something. The Caraberta woods. Hello, Count? Both male and female Beauclair centipedes are formidable predators. The bees prefer to hunt in packs, yet the author of this extraordinary work was able to capture a lone specimen preparing to attack. Cast your eye on the hunter, who, though fully aware of the danger, wears a look of cold determination on his face as he awaits the, the optimal moment to strike. <laughs> what? <coughs> There's a duck face. Ah, Geralt, you're here. Wonderful. Come, please. Oh, those were his pictures. I'm delighted to see you. I have a small gift for you, and I shan't let you refuse. You are free to sell it, of course. Though I would be honored were you to hang it in your home. Thanks. This is a beautiful painting. I love it. Thank you. That painting is so beautified in comparison to what actually happened. And then the guy who was drawing my portrait, that painting is so naked in comparison to what actually happened. <laughs> Good crowd. You got a lot of friends. All of them seem to be fawning over your paintings, too. Oh, when you have as much coin as I do, friends buzz around like flies on fresh meat. And they praise you to high heavens for each trip, burp, and sneeze. Not all are lying sycophants, that's not what I mean. Just most, unfortunately. Why bother? Why even invite them around? I'm a man of enterprise, and must put my trade before any personal hatreds or sympathies. Besides... Besides? At times, I'll exhibit a completely failed painting. Just to listen to them twist their tongues into knots, trying to find just the right superlatives to lather on smeared rubbish. Naturally, the more <laughs> intent someone is to get into my good graces, the louder they praise my masterpiece. It's devilish fun, I tell you. Wow, you're one to enjoy life? Talk to your guards back at the camp. Told me about Clarissa. Sorry to hear about her accident. Thank you. Kind words that mean a great deal to me. How's Clarissa these days? Probably can't wait for you to get back. <laughs> to get her gifts, you mean? I've dispatched two already. She'll not need to wait for my return. En route home, I mean to pass through Dol Blathana. They say one can see Sylvans there. Yeah, actually happen to know one. Name's Torque. He can be mean, but for the right fee, he'll do anything you ask. Splendid. I thank you for the hint. Tell him I send my regards. Nice meeting you. So long now. Hmm. Thank you very much for inviting me to your picnic here. <laughs> this one in the middle, though. The White Wolf Taming Beauclair Centipedes, plus a duck face selfie. <laughs> These were... did he call them paintings? Yeah, that threw me off because I thought it was an actual painting, but it's more a photograph, right? But they didn't have that term back then yet. A witcher taming peacocks. <laughs> I feel like there's a little bit of embellishment here, definitely. Ah, uh, that 
Geralt and a panther. Very nice. It's wonderful to meet the subject of the Baron's new cycle. Such an opportunity. Enjoy ah. the exhibit. Thank you. I'm sorry for pushing you. I'd stump wine with that one. Some we would stump till we were red and sweaty. Never to return. I guess that was that then, huh? We found a letter from the wife that was in the area, but that's pretty much it. Okay, Count. May I see you? Oh, they're already. People are already ready to suck up to him. I'm glad to have met you. Exceedingly so. I am glad too. You are a nice guy, except for that one time you paid me 47 orange short. Crowns. Crowns short. But hey, I forgive you. Summoning a witcher? Was that truly necessary? And our knights, what are they? Chop liver? Yeah, drink, food. Only words they know. Do you have a Gwent card thing? I think I already did you. There's someone else here, but you are done. So nice to see you again. What do you need? Oh, she recognized me. Yeah, we already did it. Show me what you're selling. Would you happen to like some broken rakes and stuff? Or even the wine that I just looted off the table outside? That probably came from this inn, right? They're the provider here, but uh... It's mine now. <laughs> Here, have some of this stuff. Silver candlestick, sure. Copper chain. This girl, this woman has a lot of money for an innkeeper. To some people are rich after all. Okay, well, I guess that's that. We just came back here to have a look at this little exhibit, but there is really not too any anything too crazy here. We should go back to Corvo Bianco and put up the paintings. Yeah? Should be going. Farewell. But what else is around here? During the tournament, one knight got stuck in his armor. So bent out of shape it was. Repeated blows of a flail. A whole team of smiths worked half a day to get him out. But the poor chap. Ah! Inconceivable! No, pick her at all. The tourney was a big deal, huh? Everyone's talking about it. He's quite the art lover, apparently. And what he loves most is to pose with his bum bed. Hey! Did you hear this? Hey! <laughs> what are you guys talking about? Someone's talking about me over there, too. Oh my god, everyone already knows about me. This is unacceptable. What am I gonna do? My reputation as a white wolf.